a, a, a tier three team in division A take them down. Folks, that's not a graphics issue. That is a 250 to 87 victory for Mind Freak over Optic Gaming and Map One. If you're just tuning in, game two will be London Dock Search and Destroy. Whew, that one was absolutely crazy as we move forward. Uh, Momo for you. Search and destroy from Mind Freak. Anything that stands out from the squad that they can look to their advantage here? Load the docks. I I'm looking at the, the actual map in particular, okay. the reason why. I've seen Mind Freak play this map so many times. First time, they're 5-4 up, they choke with streaks. Yep. Second time, they're 5-3 up, they choke with streaks. Oh, goodness. The third time I see them play was literally an hour ago. Like, I mean, these guys, they were five against Vitality. They closed it out. But Optic Gaming are not Vitality. I think what I'm seeing from Mind Freak is confidence. And I believe that if they start to get a lead, they start to get streaks, they have that confidence in themselves to close out an S&D. Well, let's see if it happens. We have ourselves a series here now, folks. Many people, including myself, brush us off as a 3-0 for Mind Freak. I, I, I sorry, 3-0 for Optic <laughs> over Mind I, I, I was just checking my, my brain took a second no, yeah, to catch no. up there, but... Uh... Can they keep this going? Keep the momentum going. Do not give Optic a chance to breathe in game two. And Optic have perfectly set up for this, but Dens gets first blood. The perfect start for the search and destroy is Dens strikes first. There were many times as well in uh, London Ducks uh, search and destroy where Mindfree would get the first blood and then go on to lose the round. And I think Optic Gaming, a stat which will stick with me for a very long time, the amount of rounds won uh, last year, I believe, Optic Gaming at a 3v4 was over 50%. It is a very rough percentage I'm giving there, but they won more at a 3v4 Whoa. than they lost. Crazy stuff, but 2v1. It's all up to Mr. Baller. And he's going to fall straight away. And my freak, they strike first, the first blood, the first round. Those shots from Fighter under Krim, disgusting. Formal who plays watching the A-cross. He's solo held A right there, watching the cross. Optic kept no pressure in middle. They three stack B. They had the perfect blind counter to the play for Mind Freak and still lost the round. I am, um, I'm gonna be honest, Jack, on yeah. social media, I actually tweeted a little bit of a joke out okay. just before the series saying, when Mind Freak beat Optic within the next three, uh, three nil in the next 22 minutes. I'm starting to believe it could happen. Believe it could happen. Listen, listen they need six rounds in an SND. It's only one to zero. It's not get crazy. I, I'm feeling crazy. Okay, well. That's the problem right now. Skump. Tree Hunter. First blood on the fighter. Look at that bomb carrier. Karma sprint right into the site. He knows they've got the timing now. The objective will be planted. Can we switch to formal for a second? Is he sniping this cross? Yes, he is. Which is why you're seeing such passive play out of Mind Freak. Love this setup from Optic Gaming. Oh, Ooh. goodness. Up close and personal, though, the PPSH will shred through. Krim's going to fall. Formal picks up one. That's going to be shocks. And now Optic Gaming, a very strong position here because Formal can watch that. Full ro the full rotation scum's actually got it as well. And Buzz out. He's not really working towards streaks, but he doesn't want to feed them. He has stopped Skump though. And again, Karma in the site really has nothing to worry about until oh oh I, well, hang on a second. He's gotta run. He's gotta run. Is he just jumping on it? Is Formal gonna get here in time? Is Formal gonna get here? I don't know! Is Formal gonna get here in time? Oh, Is Formal gonna get here in time? Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. I tell you what, Buzz out. The confidence that this man has, he's one he's trying 1v3s against Optic Gaming. This just I feel a weird atmosphere in, in the room. I said I was feeling crazy. That man, Buzzo, he's <laughs> feeling he did that, I would be done. Wow. But I mean I mean, on a serious note, I just want to say there was no hesitation. He got the second kill and he knew where Formal was. He went yep. in, heads up play. He was never gonna get that kill and then defuse. A ballsy play. However, we're sat at 1-1 and... Oh, something just doesn't feel right here. Optic Gaming, like you said on the first map though, they, they step it up a gear, they change gear, uh, and they, c they can go into unknown territory, if you like, of what Mind Freak have ever seen. So, oh, Will Fulman will let's connect with the sniper. Another first blood. First. I like the stun to at least get control of outside lights. Karma shoulder peeking middle formal now gonna rotate. It's my freak. I think they're gonna plant this bomb in the 4v3. And now you need you need some sort of play to happen from shocks. Yeah, there you go. He's gonna start moving. I like this for Mind Freak, making all the right decisions. 35 seconds left on the clock. 3v4, numerical advantage favoring 
Push from Australia, now a 3v3 as Karma takes down one. He's gonna fall to Dens. And now the FG is coming through thick and fast. 2v1, 23 seconds left on the clock. And Mind Freak, they know they're in a good position. Formal's found probably the best weapon he can, but the, the time's just not with him, Jack. Oh, he's one shot too. No way he's winning this round. Formal gonna back up for a second. Might try to make something happen versus Buzzo here. Not gonna happen, and Buzzo screams after that one. Mind Freak up two to one. Mind Freak continuing the momentum from the game against TK. From the star studded showing against Vitality, except the, the second side of CTF. Yeah. They have come into this this game with um with a completely different almost mindset. I I've seen a lot more relaxed Mind Freak off, you know, out of the game, social media, that kind of thing. Going into it maybe with just a different mindset, a clear head, and it's certainly working right now. However, Dent is gonna be catching himself right by the statue. He's caught himself a grenade as well, Krim finishing him off. And Dent has been that instigator. He's been the first down, first up in many of the rounds already. 3v2 though, Jack. Oh, Flight is in a tough spot here. But Buzzo could be the, the game changer. Spots two, can't finish either. And he's gonna get shot in the back. Unfortunate for Buzzo there, Formal capitalizing on that one. And just like that, Formal finding the last player on those stairs doesn't miss a shot right there and uh, Optic Gaming tied things up here two to two. We're gonna see that bronze star for Formal here. Again, pinpoint accuracy, a little bit of a jump shot as well. You're seeing how few players are actually running Mountain. Formal because he's sniping is one to have it on. And it's letting him get a little bit more aggressive because he knows he doesn't have to worry about how loud he is as he's sprinting around the map. So with no streaks in play, no one's obviously uh, single-handedly going off at the moment, so everything's pretty basic formal watching that cross. But as you see by the minimap, and this is what we saw Minecraft do against Vitality, it was pretty much a, a stack on B most times. They know formal sniping. They know that sniper's gonna be located around the docks area. But a very standoffish offense for Mind Freak here. We've got number three fighter, the most progressed. Bomb in the hands of Dens, yet to push forward. Formal still on your screen though. Sniper in hand. Intel made. And I believe Dens is pop popping that bomb down. Oh. No. Krim backs up the second too. Brilliantly done. Krim with another first blood. As you mentioned, he's involved in almost every one of those first engagements. Three versus two. Optic know where the bomb is down as well, and there's only 30 seconds left in the game clock. Looking good for Optic Gaming to take the lead here in the search and destroy. Cheeky little bit of a wall bank for Karma. Not going to come off. However, we'll finish the gunfight. That's going to be Fighter. Buzzo was in a 1v3 previously. Can he do it this time? Finds one. Not going to find the second here is Optic Gaming. They strike in round number five and take the lead here in the search and destroy. Three to two. A lot of FG42 action right now between both of these squads. I believe there's upwards of seven on the map right now. This one player was sniping there. Mind Freak. Talk about maps that you must win. An S and D win here over our OG to go up two to zero. You at least give yourself a chance in a game five if it goes the distance. The the one game I was about to say the one game mode I don't see Mind Freak winning is the CTF. However, I don't see them winning at half point that they just have, so I'm gonna stop speaking right there. Mind Freak uh, <laughs> right. defying gravity right now is How did Fighter just get the call? Look, they have two people underpass. I guarantee you Karma right now is going, uh guys. <laughs> Hello? What just happened? <laughs> three versus three. Everyone from Optic stacking this site. Not the same for Mind Freak, so they will have a number advantage. Buzzo's life is super key here. Keep your eye on Crib. Four kill streak. 55 seconds. That bomb seems to be rotating round, though, but number two is shocked. He could be very, very influential in these next couple of seconds. Optic need to decide exactly where they're going here. 45 seconds. They're right at the back of the map. They've got full well, they've control. They've definitely decided. Can they execute now is the question. Control statue B and the docks are all in control of Mind Freak. The number advantage wherever the attack is going to be optic game and formal. A jump shot trying to finish him off. Skunk's going to go aggressive with a machine pistol. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Made onto formal. And now Krim left in a 1v3. He's got to play for the streaks, Jack, for sure. Dear diary, <laughs> the FG42 is good. Krim saw one. You mentioned playing for the streaks. Oh, he's actually going to peek that out. He's going to die because of it. Ah, oh, that's tough. 
What do you think about that, Momo? Uh, tough for Optic Gaming. I could see the the reason behind what was Krim, Krim was trying to do, maybe find a fifth. But the problem is he doesn't. He gives the round away. He gives another kill to Mind Free, which I don't think will uh, influence the streaks too much. But I've told you, obviously, you know, the stats of Mind Freak, and when they choked those two games, when they were 5-4 or 5 three, one was against Red Reserve. I cannot for the love of God think of what the other one was. Uh, but, but they've managed to close it out against Vitaly. A uh, search and destroy win here for Mind Freak would be absolutely massive. One minute and 15 seconds here. Bomb going towards B once again. Fighter, he's always so aggressive going through here. And he's got to be, that's his job. They want to try to take the site. Eat a nade. Thankfully, he's got Hunker on. Prim with another first blood, this time on a dent. Great positions now for Optic Gaming. They don't have to put any pressure on. They don't have to move, really. Formal picking shocks off. Those three become two. Fighter with uh, Tactical going out there. Does connect, but it's all down to him. He's going to fall. And a very clean round for Optic Gaming there. Uh, Precise, no risk. Listen, if you're gonna let Formal get towards that uh, those water stairs of the sniper and just have that positioning on the map where he can look at the cross, he can look into beer, mm. he can watch over all of bottom red in the push to A, you're typically gonna have a bad time. And right there, Shox wants to try to maybe look for a first blood for his team, make it a 3v3, and Formal just rips his face off. Well, heading into round number eight, we're gonna put another 90 seconds on that clock. And again, we're gonna see a very fast paced fighter. He's always that one just being aggressive. This time it pays off for him and Skump's gonna be the first to fall. Formal switching back in two, unsure exactly which weapon to use. Of course, the machine pistol so good up close, Crim6 checking the corners. Is he gonna catch Buzzo off guard? Spotted. Wise move by Buzzo there just to back down. Call out that information. Rana knows there's a player to the full right. Two piece, but trade, not gonna happen. Formal by himself. This is a map where if it's formal last alive, I can almost guarantee you he's at the water stairs. And there he just was, Mind Freak. Know it. Nice little snap for it. Four. Still close. What will Mind Freak do now, Momo, on offense to win this and switch things over? Is this is this a double smoke? A rush with like uh, SMGs. Do they try to hit middle and abuse karma and fire? Right now, I have not seen enough nades from Mind Freak into that fire spot to back up karma. Karma's gone there every round and he's peaked it aggressively. Double nade that spot and blow karma up. Look, there's SMGs. It's an A play. They're changing things up. It is a, a, a definite change up. I was going to say Smoke. the success I've seen is from, uh, from Mind Freak at B this time. They're putting three down into A. Formal's taken down Buzzo. They have connected, but Fighter, he's going to face a grenade straight on the foot. In fact, it tags him up. Shocks goes down. Not looking good for Mind Freak. Optic Gaming about to run a train through them right now. And Formal, look at this. He's flying around. He's having fun. Finds one. Going to be traded out, but a 1v3 now. He's uh, narrowed down a little bit to a 1v2. Definitely doable, but when you think of Krim and Karma, they'll push together. They'll stick as a group. Surely not. Uh. He's dead. Yeah, yeah. You, you, he, he just picks one side, reloads at a spot where he can easily be seen. Either way, Optic 5 to 4. Formal, given control of water stairs, completely shreds two players again. You cannot let him get there without backing him up, forcing him to play uncomfortable, throwing a stun at him, something. Give yourself a chance. Now, Mind Freak obviously were on the, uh, the flip side of things here. And they were leading on this map. The question is, can they keep their composure? I will say this, if it goes to round 11, just by looking at the kills to plants, score advantage looks like it's in favor of Optic Gaming. So if it goes there, Optic should have defense. Oh my, I think we're seeing a round 11, judging by this, Dens and Buzzo. Can we see a 2v4? Formal, There's one. Formal's water stairs, never count them out. Formal and Karma. Karma does have the bomb, so he's not gonna go retrieving that. Saw shocks. Oh, oh that's unfortunate. Bell. Formal Karma, 2v3. This time they stun him, Karma sneaking by because he's got Mount. 2v2. And he spotted shocks. They know exactly where they are. Buzzo's been seen too. They have all the information they could ever ask for. Does he try to go for this plant here? And look, they both have mountains so they can get around sneaky. 
They really can. Formal as well, big catchy one off guard. He's got to be Buzzu, he's got to go head first, straight into it. A 2v4 is now a 2v1. Optic Gaming do a classic Optic Gaming, but it's all in the hands of Shocks. The bomb is not down yet, and now we've got a 1v1 on our hands, Jack. It's 20 seconds left on the clock. Surely the bomb will go down. The question is, Karma or Shocks? Karma's going to just try to play and see if he can spot a cross here. He knows he has an SMG versus Shox AR. Oh, I think he spotted him. He's going to run right into the AR of Shox. Oh my God, Shox! Soar soaring through the sky, bounces up like a kangaroo, and cuts him down. <laughs> Very fitted. Ah, uh, but Shox clutching up a 1v2 to send you to round 11. Wow. Mind Freak. They've had some uh, bad luck last week. Maybe week two is all about the Aussies. Optic Gaming, though, pushed to round 11. I actually think Karma played that very well. He was unfortunate whilst running okay. away there. Optic will have defense, so it's up to Mind Freak to do it. They've really struggled with so far this game outside of round one. That's taken offensive big round victory. And this is where I saw the, the success of Mind Freak was when they were, they were progressively slow pushing B. They, they know one is close in beer, so they've at least got that info. Formal's on water stairs. So as again, always. As long as he's here, Optic are in a good position on defense. You know you're one of the best players in the world where you can go to the same spot every single time and still put in the result. Shocks has been spotted. Formal? Because he saw that, he should, he should, yeah, look. Formal's reading this like a book. He saw Shocks rotate towards me. He's gonna at least name this like once. Karma's wall banging dense. If you didn't know, you can hit that. Fighter wins the first blood in through lights. Advantage to Mind Freak. 40 seconds left on the clock. Bomb in the hands of Dens. Do they plant? Do they push? A well question. Shocks is right at the back of the map. It's basically a 3v3 around this bomb site. One bullet. Shot. They should get the plant off it, but the bomb went down. Two versus three now. Shocks is nowhere to be found. Buzzo's getting beamed through the walls well. Buzzo needs to pick up a kill before he goes down here. You can see Shocks trying to find his way to the path and now with a 1v3. I don't think it's planned for him. That's just one. That's the moment. That's the moment right there where Optic now found some life in this series. One to one. You cannot lose maps like that for Mind Freak if you want to beat Optic Gamer. Absolutely not.